CrackerBox.com. Hi everyone, Adam here for CrackBerry.com. We are going to check out how to sideload Android applications onto a BlackBerry playbook from a Windows PC. Uh, just a couple steps, super simple. You're going to need uh, to download a bar file, a BAR file, which is the format that the BlackBerry Playbook pack, uh, applications are packaged in. So you can see here I have a eBay.bar, which is the Android version of the eBay application. And then you're going to need the DDPB installer, it's a bit of a mouthful, uh, which you can download from the link below. And that's all you're going to have to get onto your PC. You also need to make sure your, uh, all your Java and everything is up to date on your PC, otherwise you might have some issues with this. Uh, so once you get those installed, you can go ahead and open up the installer and you'll see the kind of layout here. Now you can see on the side, it's asking for playbook IP address and password. Um, to get those really simple, you just drag out your playbook and go ahead and click on the settings up top there. Um, and you're going to hit security on the side and you can see I'm already in the uh, development mode menu, but you hit security there and go ahead and jump into development mode. All you have to do is turn that on. Um, it's going to ask you for a password, so if you don't have one set, it'll ask you for a new one. Otherwise, if you do have one set, you can just go ahead and throw that in. And then you can see development mode is enabled. And we know that because there's the development mode icon up here, which if you tap, um, not orientation lock, development mode shows you it's on and the IP address of your device. So once you're all set, pull out my micro USB cable, and I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Some things to keep in mind here. Um, when you're connecting your playbook, you're going to get the standard pop-up screens. Um, you might have BlackBerry Desktop Manager open on your PC if you have it set up that way. If that's the case, just close it out when it opens. And you also get your little pop-up screen here on your playbook, which you can just dismiss. Um, so once we connect that, it's going to run through its thing, show you that it's connecting up. And we can go ahead and click scan here. This is going to pull the IP address from your device. Um, if it doesn't for some reason, you can manually enter the IP address that's shown, but you can see there the IP address that is listed is the same that is on my device. And then down in the password field here, go ahead and enter your password and click connect. And you'll see this little logging in screen here. If you don't see that um, and you just get some kind of error, check your Java again because that was the issue I had originally is that my uh, Java wasn't up to date on my PC so none of this would work right. So once you get connected, which you'll see here, we have connected, um, you can go ahead and click add, choose your um, your bar file, which I already done here. We'll go ahead and click the check mark next to that. Um, and down the bottom you just have a couple options. You can either install, uninstall, um, and then you have a run on the playbook after finish box here. So we're going to go ahead and check that. This is just kind of a way to verify that it's working. So as soon as it installs, it will open on your playbook. Click install. That's going to prompt you if you want to run it on the playbook, which we do. So we go ahead and click yes. And you'll see here, it'll give you a little progress indicator. Depending on the size of your app, um, you know, it may take a, a minute or two to load up. This one isn't very big, so it should go fairly quick. And you can see... Um, once it starts working its way up, the icon will show up down the bottom on my playbook here as a new uh, application, and then the app itself will open since we chose to do so. So you can see it jumps real quick from 0 to 50 there, and then another couple seconds we're at 100, and the playbook's doing its thing. So um, it's all fired up and ready to go. And I had this installed once before, so the settings carry over from it, but you can see it's running inside my um, Android player. So we have the eBay icon here. And you go ahead and open it up. And this is our little back gesture. These are all the recent Android applications. So you can see they're all running within the same window. Um, but I have eBay there that we just installed. And you know you can click around. It runs like a champ. You can see it noticeably is an Android application. It's got the Android menus on it. But um, that's all there is to it. So when you're done there, cancel out of this. You can close this guy out. Or if you want to add more, you can feel free to do so. And unplug your playbook. And you're all set. So your uh, my eBay application stays there and we're good to go. So that's all there is to it. That is how you install Android applications on your BlackBerry Playbook from a Windows PC. If you're doing this from a Mac, you can check out the link below for more and head to the CrackBerry forums to grab some bar files and for more discussion.